You guys, I put jeans on today. Good morning. Happy Mishmas. I am going to put a little wave in my hair. It just, <laughs> it's just looking really sad. Really, really sad today. All right, well, I wanna show you guys my candle hoard. I'm not even gonna call it a collection. That's too nice of a word for it. Um, the impetus for doing it today is I just got a really lovely, lovely PR package uh, that has a candle in it. <laughs> and then I went online and I'm on uh, Vera Shop. They're having this like 10% off on, you know, select brands or whatever. Um, if you spend a hundred dollars or more and so I wanted to get some more Orbe products and it just didn't add up to a hundred dollars and I realized I do this all the time but I end up buying candles a lot if I just <laughs> want to like throw something into my cart to get to a certain price point whether I need to get to that price point um, for shipping or for a discount or for a gift i don't know but i'll always fill up my cart it'll always be short or like not the right amount and i'll think to myself oh i'll just throw in a candle so i just sat down and did that and i thought oh my god what is wrong with me and you guys have to let me know if you have a similar candle situation going on because i have so many burning at the same time you know i have so many half burned candles because you know you get one that sounds amazing and you light it of course because you're curious what it smells like and then you go back to the other one anyway I have so many candles in progress and I have so many candles in my hoard that I would like to burn but I'm like nope not yet not until you uh <laughs> you finish some of the candles that you have so I actually have finished a couple candles uh my diptyque holiday candle from last year and then I have like a Jo Malone one that I finished and so I want to clean those out and I think was it when I showed my vanity something I think maybe when I showed my vanity not this last time but in a previous video I have some diptyque uh, candle like the, the actual glass that I keep my brushes in or q-tips in and someone asked me like how do you clean them out and there's a ton of videos on YouTube which is how I figured out how to do it. But I thought I would show you guys what I do. And I actually had a lengthy conversation with Sarah over at Better Off Red because she is a candle junkie as well. And so she cleans out her wax in a completely different way. She freezes them and I heat them. So I actually stuck the two candles that I was just talking about, the Diptyque and the Jo Malone that I finished. I actually stuck them in the freezer because I wanted to try out her technique. <laughs> So we'll see. We'll see uh, if I can if I can do what what Better Off Red does. So I'm just gonna finish curling up my hair. I just I don't know. I just woke up feeling like I'm so tired of looking like a schlub, <laughs> like a total schlub. So I put on jeans. I put on pants with an actual button and zipper. I mean, it's been it's been weeks. It's been weeks. And I thought, let me do something. Actually, do something with my hair. I've actually been pretty good uh, with the curling. I think for me, you know, it's not like I do it every single day. I don't mind when my hair is straight, but really just the fact that I haven't been able to get it cut lately, it's just looking really, <laughs> really sad. So how are you guys doing? Is it Friday? I think it's Friday. Are we even keeping track anymore? Does it even matter? I am definitely living Groundhog Day for sure. Every day is kind of the same. <laughs> <laughs> but my Mishmas calendar, I mean, now that we're like, what, nine or ten days in, my Mishmas calendar is actually starting to take some form, take some structure. Um, and I have a bunch of fun collabs next week, collabs with other YouTube creators. Uh, three of them, actually, and I'm really, really excited for them. I cannot wait to film those, and I hope you guys like them. One is going to be really fun, I think. <laughs> I mean, they're all going to be really fun, but one in particular is talk about out of my comfort zone. It's yeah, it's going to be fun. All right. Curling is done. I've got my Anastasia 
clear brow gel and I've got to tame this whole crazy baby hair situation. It's just like mini tuft, mini tuft hairs. All right, so I'm just gonna throw on some makeup. I am feeling like I've been taking it really easy on makeup lately and I just, yeah, I need to spruce myself up today. Um, I've been using the By Terry Brightening CC Serum kind of as a foundation or as like a base layer and it's great. And I just put concealer over this and it's really wonderful. It does such a great like skin smoothing thing and this is the shade Sunny Flash. So it definitely gives me a little bit of a bronzy like base too. So I think many of you have asked me to compare this to the Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer in Golden. This one has a lot more pigment <laughs> in there and it also is a lot more sheeny and it is, I wouldn't call this a moisturizer at all. This is more of like a liquid highlight and the Victoria Beckham one is definitely like a moisturizer with like a little bit of a golden hint to it. Unlike this product, which is like full on you know, makeup. <laughs> so once you blend this all out, I just feel like it looks so great. It's a little bit scary. Remember the first time I tried it, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm gonna look like a grease ball, like a tanned, like a fake tanned grease ball, but it actually like calms down a bit. I definitely have a little bit of sheen. I definitely have a little bit of like extra color, but I don't think it looks outrageous. It definitely doesn't look as bad as like when I first put it on <laughs> to show you guys the pigment. Yeah, I think it's just very, very, perfecting and I've really, I don't know, I've just been really liking it and actually on my hands maybe you can see like the end effect of it. But when I'm done with this one I think I will get the bigger bottle because yeah I'm really enjoying that. Okay I'm gonna throw on some concealer. This is my Dior Forever Correct Concealer and since this does not have any coverage, you know, unlike a foundation or a base product, um, I definitely feel like I need a little bit of concealer today, a little bit of help. So the lighting today is definitely different because the sun is just kind of coming up. So it's probably changing quite a bit. It probably looks a little bit dim, shadowy maybe, but it is coming up. I'm going to throw on some Sisley powder here. I get to the point where I put so much gel right on this part of my hair. It's like hard and crispy. And I'm going to use this uh, Kosas. This is their Color and Light Pressed in Contra Chroma. And I pulled this out for my live stream the other day and I was like, wow, I forgot how much I love this blush color. It's like that, oh, that perfect nude. I'm going to use my Surat um, Angled Cheek Brush. Then I'm going to throw on some of this highlight. I threw a mixture of the blush and the highlight on my nose just to give it a little, a little color. Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. Are you guys like totally sick of this? <laughs> Sorry. I think I'm actually done with this tube. No matter how many times I stick the spoolie in, there's just not much coming out. It seems a little dry too. And today we're going to be using the Dior Soft Cashmere Quint. This showed up in my best of 2020, so you guys know how much I love this. I'm going to, I'm really going to try and use more than just this top shade over here, but I'm going to start with that <laughs> because I love it so much. I've got my Chikohoto Z5 brush and I'm just going to sweep this all over. And then I'm going to put the bottom left hand corner shade on the outer edge here. This shade is actually, at least on my skin tone, it's deeper than what I think. And this shade is a little bit lighter than what I think. So it actually is a great duo. This is that Hakuhodo Kokuten brush that I um, showed in the Sonia G Kayaki brush set video. And I generally use this as a like cheek brush, but it's actually um, labeled as an eyeshadow brush. So I thought I would use it to kind of buff out these shades and it does actually work really well. This has synthetic hairs and squirrel hairs in here. I'm gonna take my Sony G Flat Definer brush. This is the brush I've been using for like the um, inner corner highlight. It's just, it's shaped perfectly for my eyes. And then I have my Esam T05 brush. I'm gonna go into the matte brown. 
Surat Noir Lash Tint. So for lips, I'm just going to throw on some lip gloss because uh, I'm not done drinking coffee and I may have a little bit of breakfast. That was my Chanel 804, by the way. I just assume you guys know <laughs> what it is I'm using. All right, I'm going to go and make myself another cup of coffee. I guess we'll start downstairs. I'm trying to figure out where to do this because I have candles all over the house. Um, maybe I will just bring you to those areas of the house to show you like what candles I have you know like in progress um, and then we'll go through my candle hoard oh I do want to show you um, yeah how I clean out the candles I was just rambling about burn off reds technique of putting it in the freezer so so yeah maybe we'll do that at the end so I'll show you the candles I have in progress I'll show you my hoard and then we'll clean out some candles that I've burned to the very very bottom Okay guys, so I just brought over all the candles that I have burning uh, in progress at the moment downstairs. Here in my living room, kitchen area, laundry room, etc. So I purchased that Jo Malone like holiday candle set. It's the one that came with these beautiful black lids. So I've had the frosted cherry and clove burning a lot. This is the one that I like to just set on fire as soon as I come downstairs in the morning. So we are getting, we're getting there. This one is, you know, getting pretty low in the glass. So I'm excited about that. I just had to go ahead and, <laughs> and set another one on fire. This is the sweet almond and macaroon. So this is another one that was in that set that I have. The third one, which is like a chestnut one, that one I'm just, I'm not, I'm just gonna save that <laughs> and not set that one on fire yet. So I have these two going and those have been like on my kitchen table along with my new Thames gingerbread candle. I really like this one. Sometimes I'll just light all three and you get like a little bit of each. You get a whiff of one, sometimes a whiff of the other. It's really nice. But yeah, I've kind of thrown this one into the mix. So the Thames gingerbread candle and I showed this to you guys. I think my, yeah, my Black Friday haul. Uh, is when I got this. And this one is definitely burning more quickly than my Jo Malone candles. The Jo Malone candles take a very long time to burn, just FYI. <laughs> and then these two candles I've actually had sitting here for a while. The House of Siage Blanc Mange candle. I had this like in the summertime. It's a very sweet kind of like dessert, baked good kind of uh, fragrance. I want to say like towards the beginning of lockdown. So like April, May, when I was doing a lot of baking, <laughs> a lot of baking at home when we first locked down, uh, this like seemed to go with everything. So I have not burned this since then. It's just kind of been sitting here on my coffee table, unfortunately, but I figured let me focus on these holiday candles, kind of get those down and then I can kind of go back to this one uh, because this is kind of like a nice, warm, sweet kind of scent. I do think this was limited edition. Uh, so I don't know if you can find this one anymore, but it is very nice if you like that kind of uh, baked good scent. This one I've talked about before. I got this candle off of Amazon. I don't even know who the maker is. Oh, Lulu Candles. But I was looking for a candle that just smelled like coffee. And I didn't want one that smelled too sweet. This one definitely smells like, like kind of like a sweet coffee, like Starbucks drink. I would like one that's a little bit more bitter, but absolutely no complaints with this one. And I think I mentioned this in another video too, and someone asked me if I thought this candle was like uh, strong enough. I don't know all the candle terminology. It's like the throw of the candle, I think. The throw uh, was far, I don't know. I find it to be strong enough. If I light it and put it on my coffee table, I can kind of smell it upstairs. I don't live in a big place. Our apartment is about 15, 15, 1600 square feet, and it's split between two levels. So if I light a candle in my living area, which again is not that big, it, I mean, I can smell it. I can smell it in the entire room, not a problem. And then it eventually like wafts upstairs. But that is another one that I have going down here. And then the last, is this the last one? Yes, the last candle that I have going downstairs. I just lit this because I was curious to see what it smelled like, but I do have other candles that smell like this. And so I wanted to you know, burn those down first and then I'll get back to this one. But this is uh, the DS and Durga uh, portable fireplace. And I think I got this, oh, actually, I think I got this off of the DS and Durga site, but I've seen this at Nordstrom and it really, it just kind of smells like wood smoke. I find this one to be a little bit more 
intense, like the actual fragrance to be a little bit more intense than my Diptyque Photo Bois, which is the same idea. I don't want to say this candle is stronger. It's not like when I burn it, I smell it like upstairs immediately. It doesn't have that kind of throw. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to use terminology, but I do feel like the actual like scent of this candle is a strong one, stronger than the Diptyque one. So if you're really, really into like that wood burning, wood smoke kind of fragrance, you're gonna love this. And this is actually the season for me to be burning this. So maybe I will burn this down here, whatever. Okay, so those are the six candles that I have burning downstairs. I, I really, I really wanna get this down. I really wanna get this down. I usually like, like with everything, I usually like to just open one thing and finish it before I move on to the next thing. Of course, with this job that I have, it's really not possible, especially with beauty products and skincare. I, I just have so many things going all at the same time. And I, you know, I've kind of gotten comfortable with that in that arena. And I thought I'd be a little bit more comfortable with that in terms of candles, but it's really, really bugging me. So I really, <laughs> I just want to get through I'm gonna get through these candles. And I feel like I've been burning this espresso candle, this one that I got from Amazon, forever. Maybe I should just light this one right now and hope to get through it soon. All right, so before we go upstairs and I continue showing my candles that are in progress, um, I thought I would show you some of the PR that I received. Uh, which have candles in them. So the first one I wanted to show you is Nest. So this was actually a PR um, or part of a PR box that Cosbar sent over to me. So Cosbar is one of my favorite online retailers and they are so sweet. They send me basically, they're like care packages all the time, but they're always themed. And this one was part of the holiday one. So this is the Nest holiday candle. And I knew Nest had candles for the holiday season, but I never knew that they had like a candle that was just simply called holiday. I love the scent of this candle and it's taking everything <laughs> not to burn this because I really do want to get through uh, the ones that I've started burning already. But here is the candle. It comes in this beautiful glass with this gold detailing. And let me just read the notes off to you because it literally includes every single thing that I love. Pomegranate, mandarin orange, pine, cloves, and cinnamon with a hint of vanilla and amber. It's citrus plus the pine plus the cloves and the cinnamon. I mean, it's like everything, <laughs> everything. I love it. It's perfect for the holidays. I'm a little bit bummed I have so many candles going because I would light this up right away. Um, but I'm gonna have to hold on to this. I'm gonna finish at least one other candle and then I'm gonna set this one on fire. And then Christian Dior sent me this gorgeous package. Look at this beautiful bag, isn't that pretty? So they have a Maison Christian Dior like fragrance line. And it's different from like the Dior fragrances that I feel familiar with, like Miss Dior and J'adore and Sauvage, like all of those I feel like I see all the time. I see them in department stores or whatever. But this line I think may be exclusive to Dior boutiques and maybe even like a Maison Christian Dior perfume boutique that I know they have one over in Paris. Anyway, they sent over a perfume. So they sent over Rose Gypsy and they sent over one of their candles. Let me get it out of this bag. So here's what the candle packaging looks like. It is so, so chic. I love this. And then here is the candle sitting inside the case. All right, let me entertain you for a second and try and pronounce this. Feve Delicious. <laughs> These candles are housed in this porcelain jar. It's so beautiful. It has that like cool, porcelain touch. It has just the slightest bit of texture. And there's a whole bunch of candles um, that are part of this line and they all have different colored wax. So this one has notes of tonka bean and vanilla. Oh my God, absolutely incredible. It's so like sophisticated. It just smells rich, you know? That one I'm definitely gonna save for like a special occasion. And let's go ahead and open up this perfume, Rose Gypsy. I've never tried a Dior perfume, even those ones that I just rattled off, like the Miss Dior and all of those. I've never tried them. Ooh, this packaging is so beautiful. Look how chic that is. 
it's like a um, definitely rose <laughs> for sure but it's a little bit um like sharper and crisper than i was expecting because rose can sometimes come off very deep and warm in a way mm, but this is really like light and crisp oh i love it you guys know how much i love like a bright bright fragrance mm, that's pretty oh and this is magnetized wow that is so amazing oh this smells so great so with this package, Dior actually sent a note and they wanted to pass along a promo code for you guys. So between now and December 20th, if you use my code on the Dior site at checkout, and I'll leave my code down below in the description box just so you guys like have it written out, and you will get a free like mini size of this Rose Gypsy. Isn't that awesome? And I also wanted to do another giveaway. I promised you guys a lot of giveaways uh, during Mishmas, but Dior also had sent this over to me a while ago. This is their Golden Knights um, refillable jewel lipstick case. I had shown it to you in another video. I'm just gonna take it out and show you the packaging. I'm gonna try and find a picture of it and post it up on here because I don't wanna like taint the giveaway. <laughs> but it does come in this case, isn't that beautiful? And then there's one refillable case with a refill in there and then five extra refills. So I'm just gonna close this back up put it right back in the box and one of you will win this. So I will have all the information on how to enter the giveaway down below in my description box. So a huge thank you to Dior for sending all this stuff over and thank you so much to Cosbar for including this in their uh, little holiday box to me. It's just wonderful. I'm like so excited to burn that nest candle. This Dior candle I feel like belongs in my bedroom. It's like that, it has like a certain warmth to it. There's like just a slight bit of sweetness, but not too much. Okay, now we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you the candles that I have in progress in my filming room, which is so embarrassing. So I thought I had more, <laughs> I guess not. So these are the six that I have going in this room, I guess. Six is like my threshold. Okay, so this candle, I was just talking about this candle. This is the Thames candle, the Fraser fur that I really, really love. This one is almost done and it's so black and sooty in there because it's so deep that I couldn't, I actually had to get wick trimmers to trim the, the wick and I didn't trim the wick for a long time. So it got really sooty in there. Anyway, that's the Fraser fur. I have this Fraser fur from Thames. This is a three wick candle and I wanted to, finish this one before I started burning this one and it just smells so amazing but I have this candle just sort of sitting out and now it's just really it's just really dusty and it's wax so it's all kind of stuck in there if you guys have any brilliant brilliant sort of tips as to how to clean your wax I would love love to hear from you down below in the comment section because this is kind of gross and then I keep thinking when I do eventually like this I'm going to be burning like dust. This faux de bois candle from Diptyque, I was just talking about this in comparison to the portable fireplace downstairs. This is another amazing wood smoke scent. It's just not as like strong as the DS and Durga one. Oh, but it's so lovely. Oh my god, I love it. So this you see burning in my background quite a bit actually. Um, this one also, this is one of my newer candles. This is the Jo Malone um, Wild Berry and Bramble candle. This is one of those candles that is from the townhouse collection. I have two of these. I actually, other one is actually in my linen closet, which I'll show you guys in just a second, but I love this one. So this one reminds me of the Diptyque Bay candle, which is probably my favorite home scent, home fragrance. But this one is just a little bit like lighter and sweeter. It's a little bit less like moody than the Diptyque Bay, but I'm definitely getting there. And this is not soot, this is actually lined in black. <laughs> but I'm getting there. I burn this one quite often. I have this uh, sitting on my desk and it was in my background a lot too. And this one was a gift from a very good friend of mine. This is the Voluspa Gilt. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Voluspa? Voluspa? I always say Voluspa. Anyway, this is the Gilt Pomander and Hinoki fragrance. Isn't this bottle just so beautiful? So this has a really nice, like, you know, like light kind of sweet citrusy fragrance. Really nice. I need to actually start burning this again. I didn't get that far down in this one. And then last but not least uh, for this room, <laughs> I have the um, Margiela replica by the fireplace candle. This is my second one of this. And I just started burning this one, but this has that wood smoke, but it also has this like roasting chestnut scent which is 
Oh my God, which is so incredible. That is what I have going in this room. It's a lot, it's a lot. So now we're up to 12 candles in total that I have in progress. Okay, and now I'm in my bathroom where I have my bathtub and I got this Le Labo uh, votive candle set from Nordstrom and I've been lighting these when I take a bath, but obviously not for too long. They don't, they don't look like they've been burned down at all. Just this one, the Palo Santo. Yeah, I probably burned this one the most, um, but these are relatively new. I just got these maybe a couple weeks ago, but this is what I have in the bathroom. And then here on my nightstand, I've got the John Malone English Pear and Freesia candle going. This candle is pretty old. You can see I'm getting, getting there, I'm getting down in there, but I definitely need to trim this wick. It's starting to create a little bit of soot on my glass. So I definitely need to trim that. Well, now that you guys have seen the candles that I have in progress, I'm gonna show you all the candles that I have that I haven't even started burning. I actually keep them in my kitchen linen closet, which it's really deep. So you know what, I'm gonna to have to pull them all out. Hang on. All right, so here is my candle hoard. Obviously I have a candle problem. <laughs> I have a lot of Jo Malone candles. There were some in the back that I completely forgot about and they're so old at this point. Like this set, I actually purchased at the cosmetics, I can't remember the name now. The, it's the Estee Lauder like cosmetics company store. Yeah, CCS cosmetics company store. And since Estee Lauder owns Jo Malone, they had some of their candles there and I was like, oh my God, I think they were like 40 or 50% off. So I got this. So by the time things show up at the CCS, it's kind of, it's already a little bit old. And then this has been sitting in my closet probably for about two years now. So it has five votives in there. They actually still, they actually still smell really strong, which is great. So there's a little grapefruit. Oh my God, a little frosted cherry and clove. I'm gonna take this out and burn it with my big one. Peony and blush suede. Sweet almond and macaroon, which is another one that's in my holiday set. No, I'm not gonna take it out too, just too many. And then green tomato leaf. It smells like tomatoes, it's so weird. It smells like fresh tomatoes. Anyway, so that's what's in this set. And then I got this set during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I don't even remember which one, but this one has the lime basil and mandarin. It has the English pear and freesia, and then the peony blush suede, so a lot of my favorites, which is really awesome. This set, which was sent to me from Beautylish for their Beautylish gift card event, I think this has, oh no, so this one, there's red roses in here. So there's English pear and freesia, red roses, and then peony blush and suede. So got a lot of Jo Malone sets here. And then I do have another one of those Jo Malone townhouse collection candles. This is the one in glowing embers. This is the one that smells like wood smoke. So I've been saving this one, but this is just like the one that I have upstairs that reminds me of the Diptyque Bay candle. So these are gorgeous in like porcelain jars, just stunning. And then I have this gigantic one from Jo Malone. I don't even remember. Oh, Lime Basil and Mandarin, which is one of my favorites from their line. Oh, this is one of their bigger three wick candles. Oh, it smells so Oh, so clean. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite like spring, summertime scents. So good. It's a little bit on the sweet side, so it's not quite as like crisp as some other citrus scents, but it really is. It's just so, so nice. It's so pleasant. Uh, so I forgot I had that. So I will have to remember once the warmer months come, this is gonna be great. And then this is my last Jo Malone box. Oh, there's two in here. Oh. I have English pear and freesia and then the English oak and red currant. This, I think I got this maybe around last holiday season. I can't remember. But I do love the English oak and red currant uh, fragrance. Um, the Glam Dr. Mona actually turned me onto it. I was like, how did I not know about this scent? She was like, I don't know, you gotta get it. I was like, okay. <laughs> So I got the scent and I think that's when I got the candles too. And I think maybe it was during like a Sephora event. You guys probably be remember better than I do, but I think it was during a Sephora event and I think it was almost a year ago. 
All right, and then I have two diptyque things. I thought I would have more diptyque. I guess I kind of burned those right away, but this was actually uh, sent to me. It was part of a PR gift, and this is a very, very light citrusy fragrance, and I think this is pronounced choice Choisia, Choisia, and you know, I looked up how to pronounce this because I didn't know what it was, but I think it's like a, I think it's a flower and has a citrusy scent and I've already forgotten how you pronounce that. But anyway, that is a flower. And then I have one of these sets that I was for a while there, like getting this every time the Nordstrom anniversary sale rolled around. And I had to stop myself the last, I think maybe two times because I have this. Oh, and I think I have, maybe some singles upstairs. Anyway, here is this diptyque set. I love these. So there's Bay, which is my favorite. Faux de Bois. This is their fig one, the two rows, and then the roses. This is also lovely. And then I do have a bunch of nest candles. So I have this ocean mist and sea salt candle. Cosmar sent this to me as well. And this definitely is more of like a warmer month kind of fragrance for me. Yeah, it's very fresh. It's like a very, um, it's very like a fresh linen kind of scent. So I'm excited to be able to burn this in the summertime. And then this is like a teeny tiny Amalfi lemon and mint. And it smells almost like a, like lemon candy. Oh, it smells so good. And then I have this gigantic nest moss and mint candle. This I got when I was living in New York City. That's how old this candle is. Nest was having like a sample sale. It was all the way over on the west side in one of those crazy buildings. If you're from New York, you know what I'm talking about. It's one of those crazy buildings where they just have like a thousand photo studios in there. So it's just like cavernous. It looks like a warehouse and they have sample sales there. So Nest was having a sample sale and yeah, they were like really deeply discounted because this is one of those giant three wick candles. Yeah, still smells great. Wow. I should really burn this too, but this one kind of smells like, it's like you can definitely smell the mint, but it also has like a slight citrusy scent in there. Yeah, it's really fresh. So those are the nest candles that I have. And then this is that Otherland candle canopy that I purchased during the Sephora, uh, the holiday savings event. I think the one that just passed. And you know, I was so tempted to just set this one on fire. And I was like, no, don't do it. You have too many candles going mm, but it smells so good it has like a coconut in there it's really nice it's like light and warm oh actually that reminds me i do have a little candle that i forgot to show you upstairs it's like a little votive but it's my maison louis marie candle i've shown that to you guys in the past and it's uh sometimes burning in my background so anyway that's upstairs i don't know where that was anyway this is otherland canopy and then Otherland was really, really kind enough in sending me their uh, like limited edition holiday candle. So they sent the three of them over. So this one is silk pajamas. And this is what the packaging looks like. Isn't that beautiful? This one has like a citrusy kind of fruity, but like pastel kind of scent. Really lovely. I think this is gonna be a great um, like springtime scent. And then we have Fallen Fur. You guys, I gotta get through these candles. Here's Fallen Fur. And I actually posted these, I think on my Instagram stories. Yeah, this one, this one has that uh, pine and wood smoke oh, kind of scent. This one I need, I need to burn before it's too late. These are like definite like wintertime scents for me. And then this last one is black velvet. It has alpine violet, iris woods, and midnight jasmine. Oh yeah, like a really deep floral fragrance. So beautiful. And then I have a bunch of House of Sillage candles. So I have two of the Vanilla Sun, which is probably my favorite. This is the one that um, has like strawberry and dark cherry notes in there and vanilla. Really, really just like delicious scent. And then I have two of their Endless Tropics. And this is like amber, dark musk, teak wood, peppercorn. This is definitely more of like an evening romantic kind of scent. And then I have By the Lagoon, which if I remember correctly is a little bit lighter. Oh yeah. Ooh, this is great. This one is like much fresher. It's like more daytime. Mm, lovely. All right, so that is my candle hoard. All right, so there is absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to get through all these candles. So I do wanna do a second giveaway in this video. So the first one is for that Dior Rouge lipstick set. Uh, second giveaway. 
is for some candles. So let's see. Oh my God, these are very, very hard to part with. Um, well, I definitely should part with some of the House of Sillage that I have doubles of. So uh, one Endless Tropics, and then the, what's the other one that I have? And then the other one is the Vanilla Sun. So we'll do those two, and then we'll do the Black Velvet from Otherland. So beautiful. And then why don't we do the Jo Malone, like Valentine's Day set. So this one has the English Pear and Freesia, the Red Roses, and the Peony and Blush Suede. So that will be the candle giveaway. So again, two giveaways in this video, just enter once down below. I'll have all the details of the giveaway down below in my description box, along with that um, Dior code that you can use on their site. Um, if you want one of the free mini rose gypsies to be included with your order. So let's take a look at those two candles that I actually burned down. I put them in the freezer and um, yeah, Better Off Red told me to just kind of chip away at them. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so these are two that I finished. This is the Diptyque from Holiday last year. This is the one that smelled like uh, pine trees. And then the Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin forgot where I was burning this. I think maybe just in my background. Oh, and also in the bathroom when I was taking baths. I would like this. Anyway, these guys are done and there's quite a bit of wax left over and that was actually what prompted my conversation with uh, Better Off Red because, you know, she's a candle fanatic and I just asked her, I was like, do you always have so much wax left over? And that's when she told me she puts them in the freezer and what she does, like the wax, once it freezes, it you know, it pops out really easily and she saves these wax chunks and puts them in like a baggie, keeps it in the freezer and she just throws them into her wax melter. I don't have a wax melter and I don't know if that's something I'll ever do, but I thought, let me give it a shot. Why not? Because I mean, I love both of these fragrances. So I'm going to start with this diptyque one. It's already kind of separating from the side here. I feel like my wax isn't frozen. <laughs> That's so weird. I've had these in the freezer for like, I think two, at least like two and a half days. I've had these in the freezer. I think this is as frozen as it's gonna get. Maybe it's, maybe it's cause these have a lot of oil in them. Jo Malone, God, my hands are freezing. <laughs> Let's try the Jo Malone. All right, so I'm gonna do what I normally do, which is not do the freezer trick. I'm gonna do, oh! Oh my God, look at that. It did pop right out. Okay, let me throw out the wick base. Now, let's see, if I take out the wick, the wick base, <laughs> the wick base, maybe that'll loosen everything up. Better off red, you genius. Let's see if I can get all of this out. Okay, this diptyque one is just being real stubborn. But I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. Ah, success, here. Okay, so now that it's melted, now it's like turning around in there. So I'm going to just lift that out. All the like thin layers of wax around the glass jar, those have all melted. It's just that big chunk of wax in there that was still kind of solid. So then I take a paper towel and I just wipe all the extra wax out. Then I just sprayed a little Windex on here to get the like black soot off. And they're all clean on the inside there. And then this Jo Malone one where the wax just popped out really easily after it being in the freezer. I'm actually going to nuke this a little bit because there's always this like light film of wax everywhere and I, you can't get it out until you heat it. So I'm going to put it in the microwave for like like 10 seconds, because it's just a little bit. Let's see if that was long enough. No, you can still see the wax here. It's not, it's not melted enough, so. Back in the microwave. My microwave smells really nice now. Ah, there we go. Yeah, now it's all coming out. Oh, I forgot, so this, oh. So this actually had like that Jo Malone tape over it, because this candle came with one of those covers and yeah, this, wow, how am I gonna get this off? I have one of those Goo Gone things, basically oil and can remove this. So I'm gonna have to do that another time, but look, it's all clean on the inside. Yes, ready to be reused.
Well, thank you guys for tuning in today to my <laughs> all about my candles video, my candle hoard. I'm, I'm a candle hoarder. I don't know what I'm going to name this video, but anyway, don't forget to check down below in the description box for um, information on the two giveaways, for information on the Dior code um, that you can use at checkout on Dior.com. Well, happy burning. Let me know down below in the comment section if I'm totally insane or if I seem just about right. If you like candles, you probably have the same amount going. What is that like? I think I have like 15 or 16 candles going all at the same time. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Mishmas video.